Boys Diary, May 6th, on May 6th. My contents with the language parent to improve my pronunciation. I've been doing online language exchange with AI for six months with the language parents. After doing online language exchange with the Zoom, I uploaded what we studied on my YouTube channel. Sometimes it's on public or it's on private or part private means and who have a link page, they can use the video. So secretly and uploading the video is uh, okay to if learners agree with the open our class and then and we can on public and not open and privately we can share. So after uploading the videos, I didn't use it. that videos uh, just uh, keeping. But nowadays, I realized my pronunciation in Vietnamese is not good. So, and then I tried to improve uh, pronunciation again. In fact, my language parent said to me, and your pronunciation is not bad. But when I check out pronunciation on my YouTube, and then I try to record the voice typing in Vietnamese, then my pronunciation is not like a native speaker, not like a language parent. So this is the moment when I read our studies from online language exchange with AI, and then with the subtitles, I read uh, my language parents uh, read uh, the sentence uh, with the subtitles. They are perfect because uh, they have natural voice. They have natural tones and accents. So, and then the computer internet can understanding what they talk, so in the subtitle is very good. How about me? Not perfect. Even I follow. Maybe I think uh, when I read the, the term sentence, about 50% is perfect. When I speak, and then Vietnamese, like a voice typing diary, or summarizing, only 20, 30 percent perfect. So, and then I should go for maybe at least when I read the Vietnamese sentence, I get, I want to get a little about 90, 90 percent. And also the, when I say with the voice typing in Vietnamese, I want to reach about 60 percent or 70 percent. By doing that, when I communicate with the other Vietnamese people who are not with the uh, studying, study, then and studying, then and I can communicate with them. If not less than fifty percent, uh, yeah, I cannot expect me to communicate with the other Vietnamese people because of my pronunciation. Even I I know the sentence, I know some words, but uh, when I say to communicate, then they don't understand because of me, because of my pronunciation. So, and then I should improve pronunciation again, but already I have good content with the language parents. 
so I can use uh, these contents. I sometimes I can study with the, the videos on my YouTube channel. I can study with the videos on my YouTube channel. That is a good content with the language parents because uh, uh, I can compare the pronunciation. Language parents say to read them sentence. I follow uh, read that sentence. My pronunciation bad, but uh, that is a language habit for me. So I can fix it like the uh, uh, some of words I understand and uh, I I can hear also the good uh, but uh, the pronunciation is uh, following the uh, repeat and again again uh, by doing that I maybe I can getting better so using my contents with the language parents to improve my pronunciation this is a good way to uh, one one benefit uh, to do online language exchange with AI. Or study May 6th or May 6th. I reflected on my post to improve my pronunciation with the help of language partners. I've been engaging in online language exchange for six months and it has been a fruitful journey. After each session, I consolidate what we will be learned and share it on my YouTube channel. Some videos are public while others are kept private for those with the access links. Lately, I've become aware of my shortcoming in Vietnamese pronunciation. Despite my language partner's reassurance that my pronunciation isn't bad, reviewing, recording of myself on YouTube reveal otherwise. My Vietnamese pronunciation lacks the fluency of a native speaker or a professional language learner. This realization prompted me to leverage technology for improvement. I began transcribing our conversation and adding subtitles to my video. The subtitles sentences spoken by my language partners uh, were flawless, showcasing natural intonation and accent. However, my own pronunciation fell short, achieving only about 50% accuracy when deleting the sentence aloud. To address this gap, I set a goal to achieve 90% accuracy when reading the Vietnamese sentence. 670% accuracy when using voice typing. My aim is to enhance my communication skills, particularly when conversing with Vietnamese speakers of who may not be accustomed to learners' accent. Despite the challenge, I find solace in the wealth of resources available to me. My YouTube channel is a treasure pro of content, allowing me to compare my pronunciation with that of native group speakers, while my pronunciation may be lacking at times, which means that it's an opportunity for both. By continuously listening, defeating, and refining my pronunciation, I'm confident that I will progress. In conclusion, and utilizing the resources provided by my language partner is a valuable strategy for improving my pronunciation through constant practice and dedication. I am determined to excel in my language learning journey.